Tonight, people are mourning the loss of a man whose stand against racism at a baseball field in Gastonia is now documented in the Baseball Hall of Fame. Tony King is one of 76 people who died of COVID-19 in a Springfield, Massachusetts home for veterans. His obituary reflects the stand that he took back in 1934. He was the 16-year captain of an American Legion team playing in the playoffs in Gastonia. Now, the team was told it could not play if their standout player, who was black, took the field. Well, Tony decided they should stand with their teammate and leave. It is a story our Gaston County reporter Ken Lemon covered earlier this year. Well, today he spoke with Tony's family and people in Gastonia. When Tony King took that stand 86 years ago, his team forfeited their wins. They were sanctioned by the American Legion. Now his story is documented in the Baseball Hall of Fame. And as Neek said, he died knowing he did the right thing. We talked to Tony King in January in the soldier's home where he died. He just turned 102 years old, but he hadn't forgotten about the game where organizers in Gastonia refused to let his teammate Ernest Tellamfero play because he was black. I think it wasn't fair. Why can't everybody be like my Uncle Tony was? His niece, Ann Haskell, said leading the team off of the field instead of benching a player because of his color was a decision that made Tony King a hero. But it's a secret he kept for 60 years. He never mentioned what he did back in 1934. Not until the day the city of Springfield constructed a monument honoring this team. Why is that? And he said, because it was just the right thing to do. Haskell said King was tested twice for COVID and it came back negative. But the third time was the final strike. She said the man born during the flu epidemic died of COVID. It was devastating. His death brought tears to the eyes of Gastonia baseball player oh, Elmore Hill. I tell you, baseball lost a great guy. This is a picture of the two when they met five years ago as the city of Gastonia reconciled for forcing the Springfield team to leave. Can't Hill, a former today. coach in the majors, the told King about the racism he faced on the field. We sat and talked like we'd known each other forever. His niece said Tony King's last words to her were, I love you, and the phrase he always repeated. If I die tonight, you be happy for me because I had a wonderful life. I told her the current mayor always wanted to thank Tony for the stand he took in 1934. She said, tell the mayor he's in heaven and he knows. Back to you. Okay, so he stood for, for something that is part of his legacy now.